Like you said, that $400 billion figure each year, I mean, this is a substantial amount of money um, that malls and, and shopping centers are pouring into these local tax coffers. Um, and I think oftentimes we forget as we talk about the, the demise of the shopping mall, um, just what role the mall can play in a community. Um, and when I speak to uh, Tom McGee, the CEO of the retail real estate trade group, ICSC, he tells me he's very concerned about how this is going to ultimately pan out. I mean, this money, um, either sales taxes or property taxes, are funding school budgets, um, police infrastructure. Um, so there's certainly many more consequences beyond just a uh, community losing a place to shop or grab a bite to eat in the food court um, if a mall is is to permanently shut. Lauren, I also, and I remember we, we spoke about this as well, um, a couple weeks ago, the Washington Post had also kind of rung an alarm bell. And the point then was that it, it's not even so much that the malls, you know, might not be able to pay any of this money. It's that they might choose not to. I mean, they might view this kind of bill as somewhat fungible, given this environment with everything else going on, and maybe hope that Washington comes with some state and local bailout money, and maybe they don't have to pony up. Sure. I, I think many developers are still, in certain ways, waiting on the government to, to offer them something. Um, you see some small businesses, obviously, getting loans, but in many instances, retailers aren't paying rent. And when a retailer doesn't pay rent, that ultimately means the landlord can't pay its own bills. Um, with some of these real estate developers saying they're collecting anywhere from 25 to 30 percent of, of rent uh, for the month, you know, which is not near what they need to 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 keep their own business uh, afloat. Uh, one mall owner, CBL, um, it's a publicly traded mall owner, and it's already missed two interest payments during this pandemic, and now is in a grace period. It could potentially default on those loans and, and potentially declare bankruptcy, and if so, it, it would be the first uh, mall owner to do so. So yes, like you said, there, there are many consequences. Um, you know, when the, when the retailer's stores are shut, it kind of trickles down um, all the way through this food chain. Yeah, and as you report here, Simon Property Group also told investors they know local communities depend on their sales tax and real estate taxes. I hope they appreciate what we're doing. Doing. Again, maybe implying uh, if push comes to shove, they might have to let that go. Lauren, thanks very much. Then everyone can go read the whole piece on CNBC.com. Uh, the demise of America's malls can be a blow to the towns that depend on them.